Hi everyone, I'm Mark. Welcome to the Average Me channel. If you're new to the channel, I'm going to ask that you click my face in the corner to subscribe and ring the bell icon up above so you know when I post new videos. What we're going to do today is look at gummy, sticky, rubber coated items. I'm packing today to go on a vacation tomorrow and this is a charger that I use. Now, I really like it, but it's kind of old. It has a lot of power. I can power up my phones several times, my iPad, but it's got a sticky gumminess to it. And a lot of times you'll have tools. And in fact, the grip on the camera I'm recording this with right now has that same kind of rubber coating. And in time it deteriorates and it gets a little gummy. And I've tried to clean this off with soap and water and alcohol wipes. The gumminess comes right back. So in this video, we're going to look at what you can do to clean up that goopy, gummy, sticky feeling on rubber coated items. Now to give you an idea of how sticky this surface is, it's almost like that gummy uh, note paper it just has, it just sticks to everything. And you can probably see there's a lot of dust and residue. It just doesn't come off. So what we're gonna do is look at something that can fix it. And you'll notice I have a towel out. We're going to use acetone. If you're wondering what acetone is, you can get it at the hardware store, but it's essentially fingernail polish remover. And this stuff is really strong. So be careful that you don't get it on anything. I'll give you a demonstration in just a minute of exactly how strong this is. So I'm gonna pop this open. And we're just gonna put a little bit, it doesn't take much, a little bit on a paper towel. By the way, it will remove any images, so be careful, it's probably gonna take off my decal on the front, maybe not. Okay, it's feeling better already. Notice I'm getting a little bit of black on there. And that black is really the decomposed rubber that's causing all of that stickiness. So I'm just gonna go over the whole thing. Acetone dries very, very rapidly. As a matter of fact, the cloth is feeling really cold because of the evaporation process. And this already feels far less sticky. And some of that tackiness is, is now gone. It sticks a little bit, but not as much as it used to. So it doesn't feel as tacky to the touch. Now, I also heard that Isopropyl alcohol will do the same thing. It's probably a lot cheaper. So that paint is starting to flake on here. But let me give you a demonstration of how powerful this is and why you have to be really careful that you don't spill this or when you're done with this paper towel that you don't lay that somewhere. Here I have a styrofoam cup and I'm gonna pour a little bit of this on it. Can you see that? That's how strong this acetone is. So people put it on their fingernails for fingernail polish remover. You might wanna think about using rubber gloves when you use this, uh, but it almost looks like magic. But that's really what happens if you get this acetone on anything you don't want it to get on. Like wood furniture, it will dissolve the finish right off it. Now be careful with this stuff because it can eat through stuff before you even realize it. All rubbers are different. I would sample it first in an inconspicuous spot to make sure that it works for you. And maybe you'll try something milder first, like an isopropyl alcohol before moving to acetone. If nothing else, you just learned a fun little experiment in how to make a styrofoam cup disappear. Well, thanks for watching everybody. I hope this works for you. As always, I encourage you to like and share the videos. Leave your comments down below. 
you haven't already, please subscribe by clicking my face in the corner and don't forget to ring that bell icon so you know when I post new videos. I'm Mark, this is The Average Me Channel. Thank you.